This summer, I started putting together my first Mediterranean guild. So I'm using cold hardy olives, thyme, we've got lavender, rosemary, and artichokes. And I'm out here today tying my artichoke crowns. I'm on the border of zone 6B and 7, and I want these to overwinter, so they still need protection where I'm located. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie the leaves together so that I protect the crowns. Then what I'm going to do is cut off the top and I'm gonna use those leaves to mulch around it. Then I'm gonna pile a whole bunch of leaves, bedding, that sort of thing, and then put a box on top. And that's gonna keep these insulated so that they come back healthy, full, and lush in the springtime. I know I'm gonna get asked about varieties. So for olives, I'm using Ascalana olives, which is really great for making olive oil. I have Imperial Star Artichoke. It is more cold hardy than other varieties, though it still needs protection. And then my other olive, let me go check. Yes, it is Nikita Jubilee. So this one is more for fresh eating. Okay, so after cutting the artichoke leaves, I actually used the leaves from the artichoke to mulch around itself. Then I went and got some comfy leaves and added that on top. Now I'm mulching with just mixed fallen leaves from around the farm, including maple and oak. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add bedding. I'm using hemp bedding because it's one of my favorites for mulching. And after all that insulation is added, I'm just gonna add my pock. I couldn't find any boxes that fit the size that I need, so I ended up using pots, which is probably better for ventilation anyway. And then I just put a rock on top so that any winter winds don't blow over the pot. So inside we have the artichokes surrounded by their own leaves, comfrey leaves, dried maple leaves and oak leaves from around the farm. And then I also use some of my hemp bedding. Once I get my straw on Friday, I'll be going around the entire bed and just covering the soil for protection so we don't have any nutrient loss through solarization or runoff or erosion throughout the winter time. So that's it. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Hopefully these come back come spring.